through the uh, an abdominal assessment here. So I am first going to start off with inspection. I have my patient right here, Sandy, my lab partner. So I'm gonna first start with inspection. I'm gonna look at contour and it looks flat and umbilicus is midline. I don't see any scars or striae. Um, color is appropriate for cultural background. And I'm gonna inspect for any Turner sign, which is um, an abdominal bleed. So I don't see any, any signs of that, no excessive hair. And um, I don't see any um, pulsations or um, peristalsis. So next I'm gonna auscultate for bowel sounds in all four quadrants. I'm gonna be looking for um, bowel sounds, bruies, etc. Okay, so just listen for bowel sounds and it is normal, active, present in all four quadrants. And now I'm gonna listen for bruies. Listening to the abdominal, renal, and oh, and for moral as well. Okay, so no bruise present. Um, now I'm going to percuss in all four quadrants. And I am listening for uh, timpani. Okay, so it's tympanic in all four quadrants. I'm not going to um, percuss the liver span. So I'm gonna go down the midclavicular line here. And so I'm just gonna percuss the liver. Okay, so I'm gonna start from up here. Can you put your finger right up there? Being a little lower. There you go. I'm going to go from the bottom up here. Again, I'm listening for dullness. Okay. So it's about seven centimeters uh, at the midclavicular line, which is a normal range. Uh, normal liver span should be between six and 12 centimeters. So now I'm going to percuss for the spleen, which is going to be in the mid axillary line. Again, looking for dullness. Okay, so um, all I heard was tympani, so no dullness present. So the spleen and liver are not enlarged. So I'm now going to palpate. I'm going to do light palpation first, checking for any tenderness, any superficial masses, or any lesions. So I'm going to palpate lightly, going down just one centimeter. Any tenderness? Now I'm going to do deep palpation. Any tenderness when I do that? Again, looking for any larger masses, nodules. Okay, so none of that present. Um, now I'm going to palpate for McBurney's point. I'm going to ask my patient to take a deep breath while I palpate McBurney's point. Actually, this is Murphy's sign. <laughs> I'm checking Murphy's sign for um, cholecystitis. So I'm going to have you take a deep breath here. And then I'm going to be palpating. Okay, any tenderness? Mm -hmm. Okay, so no presence of cholecystitis. Now I'm gonna do McBurney's point here. Um, so I'm just going to deep. Any um, tenderness? Okay, I'm also gonna do rebound tenderness at the same time. So I'm gonna push down and release. Any pain when I release? Oh, okay, so no presence of um, uh, appendicitis. So now I'm going to check for cost over cheekbone angle of tenderness. I'm going to have you sit up. So I'm going to go in the back here. Any tenderness when I do that? Okay. okay perfect. So today I'm going to be performing an abdominal assessment on you. I'm going to be looking, feeling, listening to your stomach. Does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. We're going to start off with some questions, okay? Okay. Do you have any history of um, GERD? No. What about peptic ulcer disease? No. Nausea vomiting? Mm -mm. Liver disease? Mm -mm. Have you had any recent changes in your urination? Mm -mm. 
What about your bowel movements? No. All pretty normal? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Can you tell me a little bit about your diet? Um, well, I'm McDonald's, okay. you know. Some fatty foods. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you tell me about your exercise? Do you exercise at all? I mean, I go on walks. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Um, do you smoke? No. Okay. Do you drink? Mm, occasionally. Okay, every once in a while. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have, um, have you gotten any recent tattoos or piercings? No. Have you any recent IV drug use? No. Okay. Okay. What about any blood transfusions? <laughs> No. All right. Do you take any antacids or proton pump inhibitors? Mm -mm. No. What about laxative or stimulants? Only as necessary. Oh, okay. of course. Mm -hmm. um, what about um, what about um, antibiotics due to H. pylori, the bacteria? Mm -mm. No. No. Okay. Perfect. Well, I'm going to start now with the assessment portion. Would you mind if I lifted up your shirt? No, it's okay. Okay. I'm just going to lift this up to take a look. All right. So when inspecting the color, it's appropriate for the patient's race. Um, it is symmetrical bilaterally, and the shape is flat. Um, I don't absorb, observe any masses or nodules. Um, no visible peristalsis. I do see um, some slight aortic pulsations. Um, um, I don't see any accessory um, muscle movement. Will you go ahead and lift your head up for me? Um, there is no diatasis recti for the musculature, nor is there any hernias. You gotta lift your head back. Okay. So now I will be auscultating. I'm gonna start um, on your right side and I'm gonna move up and over, okay? Just try to relax. The bowel sounds are normal, active in all four quadrants. Okay, I'm now gonna be listening for a venous hum in your epigastric region. No venous hum noted. I'm now gonna be listening for the aortic pulse. Their pulse is heard, S1 and S2 noted. <clears throat> okay, I'm now gonna percuss. I'm gonna start with just a general percussion. It's gonna be listening. That was all within normal limits. There was dull where it needed to be dull. There was timpani where they needed to be timpani. All right, I'm now gonna percuss for your liver. I'm gonna start in the right lower quadrant and I'm gonna work my way upwards. Can you hold your finger right here for me? I'm gonna start upwards and now I'm gonna go down. liver span is around seven centimeters. All right, will you sit up for me? I'm now gonna do a blunt percussion of the kidneys. Will you turn around? Do you feel any pain or tenderness? Okay, nope. that was with a normal limits. Go ahead and lay back down for me. All right, I'm now gonna be performing a palpation. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the light palpation. Let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness, okay? Okay. I'm going to start in the right lower quadrant. Mm. 
you paying attention to this? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to do deep palpation starting in the right lower quadrant. Let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness, okay? Okay. Any pain or tenderness? Mm -hmm. No pain or tenderness noted. There's also no palpated nodules or masses. Okay, I'm now going to be performing some tests, okay? So we're going to start with this right leg. Go ahead and lift it up for me. I'm performing the obturator test. Let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness, okay? Any pain? Mm -mm. Okay. That is negative for the obturator test. Go ahead and lay on this side of your body for me. All right, can you bring this leg back as far as you can? All right, any pain or tenderness? No. All right, that is negative for the psoas test. Go ahead and lay on your back for me. All right, I'm now going to be testing for rebound tenderness halfway between the umbilicus and the iliac crest. Let me know if you feel any pain while I'm pushing in or pulling out, okay? No pain? That is negative for rebound tenderness. I'm now going to be testing for Murphy's sign. I'm going to place my hands underneath your ribs right here, and I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath. Let me know if you feel any pain, okay? Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. No pain? All right, that is negative for Murphy's sign. I'm not going to be performing shifting dullness tests. All right, will you go ahead and lie on this leg? Perfect. Okay. Shifting dullness test is within normal limits. I'm now going to measure the abdominal girth of my patient. Can you sit up for me? The abdominal girth. All right, so first I'm going to begin by observing the patient's abdomen, looking for symmetry, for discoloration, any sort of hair pattern that may be abnormal or atypical, um, any swelling, I see none, so that is good. The abdomen is a little bit special because we have to do it. I just can't do it. Keep going, keep going, I don't really care, because you have to auscultate right away. So I'm going to start with the diaphragm. Yep, I put them in the right way. And I'm going to start and go around in a clockwise motion. Listening for 5 to 15 seconds in each spot. I'm going to flip it around, do the same thing. <laughs> so, the bell. The bell. Go on to the um, set crescent, and we'll go in the center, uh, make quick through line, axillary line on both sides. So. Then I'm going to listen to the liver and the spleen for friction so points. Here from tympanic dull, go over a resonant going over the different organs, and your different organs as well. Sit good, I know Aaron is going to want to sit down and make him some cool noises though. The next thing I am going to do, I'm going to put this back in my ear, and I'm going to listen for some birds. You're going to just find your lateral border of your I'm going to start with the abdominal aorta. Start in your close to your nipple, and then I'm just going to kind of Then I'm going to move to the renal arteries. And then go up from the bottom. From the bottom to the top, and then wherever I see. Then the iliac arteries. Can you locate your pubic synthesis for me? Go from her ASIS, halfway in between her synthesis, along the inguinal ligament. Listen to the femoral artery. Bilaterally. Don't mind me. Here it 
recently emptied her bladder or bowel because that'll make a different noise when you were depressing if they are full. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the spleen compression test. So I'm going to have you take a deep breath in. change noises so that's a good thing that's how it should be and then I'm going to palpate her liver so breathe in and out and in good there and gallbladder just gonna breathe in feel try and feel and out kidneys see if I can there. And then I'm going to do gentle palpation, which I should have done before what I just did, but I didn't. Can you stand with any of these? And then uh, palpate a little harder. All right, and then I'm going to palpate the spleen or attempt to palpate the spleen. I shouldn't feel anything because that would be bad. And we're good there. And then I'm going to try and palpate the kidneys. So I'm going to come here, drag out the tissue slack, and I'm going to squeeze down as I'll stay with you. And I can't feel much of anything there. Then go back to the percussion because I missed doing the liver side. You know? So we're gonna start so, here. Um, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna feel oh, there the abdominal aorta, a little bit of uh, palpating there. I'm gonna put my ruler down. She wants to hold it, so that's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna come up from the bottom. And lateral border. And there. And I'm gonna flip it. And it's under and three. And measure it. And I got nine, which is what I got the other day. So if your liver isn't growing, so that's good. And then the next thing I'm going to do is the appendicitis test. I'm going to just start palpating your around your stomach. I'm going to start. I got my ruler handy. Probably measure the abdominal aorta. Going to feel for where the pulsations feel equal. And then measure it. About a centimeter and a half, I would say. Then I'm going to do the appendicitis test. Start with McBurney's point. Do you have any appendicitis symptoms? No. So these shouldn't hurt her. No. The rebound test. The test that starts with a V and I can't ever remember how to pronounce. And then I'm going to have you. Actually, I'm going to. Bring this up and flex your knee. And do you feel any pressure? This is the obturator desk. Which I didn't already and then I'm going to have you lay on your side. Pull your shirt down. And, if it went away, and then can you bring your leg back until it hits me? And, and keep pushing. Any pain with that? Nope. So Good. That. No appendicitis. Um, that was the psoas so test. No appendicitis. 